Kids, today I'm going to show you how to make a cool name mandala on the computer in sketchpad.io. So this is the one that I made yesterday, just as a little test, and you can see the name spelled out here. My last name, Kirst, K-I-E-R-S, and then if I drag, maybe I can show the T, um, it gets cut off. But anyway, I thought I'd start out by showing you what mandalas are first before you make your name mandala. So here are some examples of mandala. It means circle, and it's from the Hindu or Buddhist tradition. And in this picture, you can see a Tibetan monk making a sand mandala. Here's another cool one. And that's something that we see at the uh, Crow Asian Art Museum. I think every year a group of monks come and they make a mandala out of sand over a few days and then they blow it away and wreck it at the end as a symbol of impermanence. So let's get started. You'll click on classwork in your Google Classroom. And then on the last line, it says, click to create your own name mandala. You click the link, it will take you to sketchpad.io. If you haven't used sketchpad yet, you may have to click a couple things saying, okay, I'm using it or whatever, some permissions. And then you're going to click on the addition symbol, the plus sign right here, to get a new workspace. Click blank and then create. And I like to start out by turning it black. So I'm going to click on the little paint bucket. That's the vector fill tool. And I'll click on the color swatch. And I'm going to choose, make sure it's color, not these three options. I'll choose the uh, dark gray here. Not quite black, not too light. And then I click on the field and it will turn the whole thing my dark gray color that I chose. Next, I'm going to choose underneath the arrow. There's a little crop tool. The next one down, it might not look like this the first time you use it. It might look like this, the calligraphy brush. If it does, that's okay. You just click on it. And where it says calligraphy, you choose the mirror brush tool or it might have a different brush tool depending on if you've used the program or not. So the first thing you're gonna do is add the lines to follow for your mandala. So make sure it's on no fill. So this top dropper should have an X on it. You can do that. Now it has the X on it, it's ready to use. And this one should be set to white. If it's not, you can go ahead and select white, make sure it's at 100%. Now I'm ready to draw my lines. Oops, except I'm also going to add, I'm going to make it six lines. So right now you can see there's only five dots. To add another dot where it says sectors, I'm going to click the little up arrow. So now it says six. So it's pretty easy. And now I'm going to start out and draw my lines and I'll make it kind of curve. If you don't like the first one that you do, that is okay. You can click on this arrow right here, the undo, and get rid of it. So I'm gonna try it again. See if I like that one better. And I might do one more. Okay, and now I'm gonna start drawing my letters. So I'm gonna go back over here to the mirror brush. And now it's time to add some color. On my example, I did it in green. And I think this time, maybe I'll do fuchsia. And I'm gonna start with the darkest. Oh, and make sure it's not on these, linear radial pattern. You don't wanna use those for this assignment. Choose color and then the darkest of your color group. And you'll use just straight on up. So the first one is gonna be for the first letter and the outline should still be white. So I think I'm gonna do my sister's name just to keep this one kind of easy. Her name is Lexi. So I'm going to draw the L first and it'll look kind of weird while you're drawing it. That's okay, don't worry about it. Now it's, uh, there's the L. So now I'm gonna switch colors, go back over here and I'm on the darkest one, I'm gonna choose the next one. Although her name only has three, no, four letters. 
So maybe I'll skip one so that it has a little bit more variation. So now it's time for the E. I'm going to do it in all capitals, but you can do it however you want. If you know how to draw or how to write in cursive, that's also a really cool way to make these. And now switch colors again. So it's getting lighter and lighter. You can make it like balloon letters, you could make it cursive, all kinds of fun ways to play around with it. And you can make as many as you want. So if you don't like the first one, make another one. And here's the lightest color. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so if you make a mistake, use that back button, undo it. It's not a big deal. That's the cool thing about drawing on the computer. You can always get rid of your mistakes. So there it is, a name mandala. So I hope you guys have fun, play around with it. Remember, if you want to make a new one, you just click right here and have fun.